what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so another hot topic is always performance and in this video I've got 10 very specific fragrances that just have massive sillage on my skin these things are beastly performers it's not just about how long they last it's about just this big old scent bubble that seems to surround me for hours on end so I know you guys are into that stuff and from time to time I get in the mood for fragrances like that too and some of these are more recent to the collection some I've had for a while but all of them are ridiculously powerful stay tuned starting with one that's pretty new to the collection that I kind of oversprayed for what I should have done the way it reacts with my skin this was kind of a just spur of the moment purchase that I ended up falling in love with this is Youp Homme Le Parfum this stuff oh man Earthy floral, beautiful sweetness, more of a gourmand sweetness at the top, dries into more of a creamy vanilla soft powdery iris musk combo, but at the top it's this gourmand feel, there's a praline note in here, and it's more of an earthy violet type of smell than it is a soft powdery iris. And there it is, it's that rooty earthy type of tone, like grassy root of the flower in the dirt kind of thing. As strange as that sounds, it kind of kind of works you know this is a magnificent fragrance and just that one spray is just filling this airspace so easily I did a full review on this one not that long ago you can get this one in the sub $50 price point I've been kind of keeping my eye out to come across a good price on the Eau de Parfum and I got caught up in an Amazon algorithm where they suggested this to me it looked into it I was like oh it's an iris fragrance why not ended up falling in love with it one of the better designer pickups, affordable designer pickups that I've grabbed in a long time that very much surprised me that has this just immense sillage on me. I really don't need more than like four sprays with this one. I had did six plus one on my hand the first time I wore it and it was, it was just too much. It was too much on my skin because this underrated for the kind of power it has. Maybe it's just my skin. I don't know. Comment below if you've tried this and you have crazy performance on your skin too because this stuff is absolutely nuclear sillage. Again, that's Youp Homme. This is the Le Parfum flanker. Next is what, in my opinion, is the ultimate king of the mountain way to smell like the Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce scent profile. There's a lot of fragrances that have replicated it, and there's a niche house that famously did it as well, and theirs is the best version. It's Parfums de Marley Percival. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that will agree with me. This is one that I don't do more than four sprays either. This is easy to go nose blind to. This is a bona fide room filler with its projection and its sillage doesn't calm down much beyond the, sea, the projection. Man, it smells good too. A lot of man-made synthetics here, the Ambroxan feel and all that good stuff, but it has this fresh, spicy, woody accord going forward. A little bit of citrus and fruits, but not overtly sweet. There's a little bit of sweetness here. Like I said, fresh and spicy without being very like peppery spiced or anything like that. A little bit of herbs, some woods here. This is actually quite the compliment getter. My wife's a big fan of this one, but it's one that I have to be very mindful of the sprays because this one has the ability on my skin to absolutely overwhelm her in any given room or especially in one of our vehicles. This stuff is crazy, crazy strong. I know in the past when I've talked about this, there's others that have chimed in in the comments, so I know it's not just me, but this stuff's ridiculous. Get a sample and try this. If you like anything about the Fierce Scent Profile and you trust in my opinion, this is better than literally every other fragrance that smells like fierce it smells the highest quality of them and it's the best performing as you would expect because it's the most expensive of them again that's parfums de marley percival this is a clone of a very popular jean paul gaultier fragrance but it's smoother and smells of higher quality i actually prefer the clone for jean paul gaultier's ultra male with Afnan 9 p.m. This stuff is immensely powerful. I do not want to have anyone ask me about a batch code for this cheap Middle Eastern fragrance in the comments. It's powerful, guys. It's If it's not powerful for you, it's probably you. They don't just reformulate it every other month. You know what I mean? It's not that crazy. I say this because it happens all the time when I bring this fragrance up. Uh, or Hawass, that's another one that could have made this video that's not in this video. If I did 15, that would have been in here. God, this smells good. Fruity Apple. It replaces the pear note from Ultra Male with this green apple note that's very fruity sweet at the top, but still very playful. It has that cinnamon spice feel to it with the vanillic dry down. 
this stuff is a nuclear performer last and last and last but again four spray max for me and it makes a very strong well pronounced statement at four sprays for me and last i checked you can get this one from perfumeonline.ca for 25.50 us so it's still very cheap it's in stock last time i looked i'm going to put links below to everything for if you're interested in checking any of these out but this is one of the best that Offdon's put out in my opinion uh if you if you like ultra male and you want a better version of it just the way i feel about it you might want to check out Offnon's 9 p.m this is another one that literally filled the apartment the last time I wore it. I did a shorts video talking about it. This is a nuclear performer. I really don't do more than three sprays on this one because it's so immensely powerful. We are talking about the famed Dior Sauvage Elixir. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. So this stuff, I have the 60 ml from the original launch. They are available in 100 ml now. This stuff is so strong. But man, does it smell good. Woody, spicy, aromatic. A lot of dry, warm spice, too. There's nutmeg, there's cardamom. And of course, there's some lavender to kind of smooth things over. A creamy sandalwood, a little bit of an ambery feel. But it's dark, rich, spicy, and even a little resinous in some ways. Uh, might even have a bit of a smoky feel on some people's skin. Out in the air, I get more of a smoky feel to it than I do on my skin, believe it or not. Typically, it's the other way around. It's floating in the air. This one, knock your socks off performance. That's been my experience. That's been a lot of people that I know that has this fragrance, that has been their experience. Um, yes, there are affordable clones out there that do a really good job. Latafa's Assad has its little twist to it. Still a great performer. Uh, Alexandria's version at Sauvage Elixir, pretty close in performance and scent profile across the board, but none of them kind of perform really as ridiculous as the real deal does for me. This stuff is just... It's bonkers. Nobody needs the kind of, at least I don't feel anyways, nobody needs the kind of performance this fragrance offers. It is absurd. If you're the heavy spraying type, you're going to fill every room. You're going to choke everybody out. You might still get a compliment. I don't know. I know that's important to a lot of people, but whew, man, if you're looking for just ridiculous sillage and power, Dior Sauvage Elixir might be the fragrance for you. Speaking of ridiculous power, we can't have this video without Mancera's Red Tobacco. Oh, yeah. You want to talk nuclear, ridiculous, absurdly powerful beasts. That's a descriptor for this. This is just Godzilla-like performance. Man, pungent. Pungent, smoky tobacco, rich and sweet, resinous, ambery. A lot of smoke here, though. And, of course, there's some oud as well in the backdrop, if I remember correctly. It's got a little bit of a funky oud smell. This is... Kind of a modern classic in many ways, especially for fragrance enthusiasts, because the masses don't really know, and most people in the masses anyways, don't really know about Mancera or the just absurdity of the performance that Mancera Red Tobacco has. This is absolutely an experience worth having. There was a time when this was my absolute favorite tobacco fragrance on the market and in my collection. I have it since expanded well beyond the collection from when I first got this, but it's still in the top three for me. But it's also the most powerful of my favorite tobacco fragrances. If you haven't gotten your nose on this one yet, you really should. Like I said, an experience worth having if you're looking for that ridiculous sillage, that fragrance that is going to grab people whether they like it or not because it's so damn strong, you might want to check out Mancera Red Tobacco. The fragrance currently on my skin this evening, I decided to wear out the shower. Um, this is, I wore it the other day, Valentine's Day as well. This stuff is... I did four sprays and all I did, all me and my wife could smell was me for hours and hours and hours. We're talking about Emporio Armani Stronger With You Intensely. It's definitely intensely powerful. The longevity is great. The sillage is immense. The scent profile is delicious. <sighs> Warm, spicy, very sweet, roasted chestnut smell to it. Toffee. There's some complexity here. No booze like absolutely, but man, this stuff just as powerful as absolutely. Maybe even a little bit stronger, to be honest with you. Um, it's kind of hard to really gauge which one's more powerful than the other because they're both really beastly on my skin. 
but I might have to give the nod to this one. That's why I ended up going with this one instead of absolutely. So if you haven't tried this one yet, you really should. You can't go wrong with any of the Stronger With You flankers for men. But this one in particular, it's just something so just assertive about it. And I really think it's to do with that power. You gotta like sweet. This is definitely the sweetest in the line but it's balanced out pretty well with a nice underlying tone of spice. It's not as spicy as the original Eau de Toilette is, but if you want some power, some captivating power, this, this one will grab people. This is a compliment puller for sure. This is super enjoyable. Even on my wife, my wife has worn it as well. You might want to get your nose on Emporio Armani, stronger with you intensely. Next is the newest release from Zaharoff. This is a three spray fragrance for me. Max, that's all I need. It's absurdly powerful. It is signature leather tobacco. Oh man, statement maker, bad boy fragrance in many ways. There's no elegance here. For as smooth as it gets, as it dries, this, is, this fragrance has an attitude, I think is the best way to put it. Dark tarric smokiness from this birch tar incense combo. Uh, there's a leather accord, there's a suede accord, there's a rich, earthy, robust tobacco accord here. There's spices at the top, there's a little bit of plum and honey to put just enough sweetness to kind of smooth and round out the edges on this one. A lot of warm spice, there's a lot of nuance to this fragrance in general. If you're looking, for, like I said, you want a real statement maker, not just because of the performance, but because of the complexity. Like I said, very much a bad boy in your face, assertive you know, just powerful type of scent profile, not just the performance, it's a powerful statement maker. You might want to get a sample of this one. If they're not on the website, reach out to the email and see how you can purchase a sample. I did not check before I started recording. I believe they're on the site now. I'll have a link down below. Get your nose on this fragrance. You don't have to commit to a bottle. They do have two ounce bottles like this and four ounce bottles. Get yourself a sample, get yourself a travel size, spend a little time with it, and you'll probably be able to understand very quickly why I do not do more than three sprays on my skin because the sillage is immensely powerful and room filling and uber masculine too. Zaharoff, signature leather to back. Or this one just a few days ago, I have a review up on the channel if you want some more detail beyond what you'll get here from Maison Alhambra, Baruch Rouge, 540. Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum clone, as you may have guessed it, based on the name, based on the style of the color scheme and everything. This particular fragrance impressed me and surprised me. Very much on the much more accurate side of things with Baccarat Rouge 540 EDP, but the performance on my skin is ridiculous, and it's a $25 fragrance. $25 for 100 ml. It goes a long way, four, five sprays, big statement maker, encapsulates the essence of Baccarat Rouge 540, not on the same quality level as Maison Francis Kirk John's fragrances, obviously, but it does the job for very, very well for $25. Like I said, very surprised by this one. I gave it an 8.5 out of 10 in my full review, which is a very high mark, and it's one that's worth trying. If you're the type that wants to check out some powerful clones that have a pretty good accuracy and decent quality, Latafa and Maison Alhambra have been doing a pretty good job overall, and this one is one of the better ones that I've tried from them. And I've tried a large amount between Maison Alhambra and Latafa, which is the same company, basically. At this point, I've tried a lot of fragrances from them, and this one impressed me for sure. And the performance, that's why it's in this video, is so powerful. It, it really brings to life that crystallized, musky, sweet tone that you get from the amber wood, saffron, jasmine, ambergris kind of combo that specific like you know what i'm talking about that fizzy kind of bright and effervescent musky sweetness that baccarat rouge 540 is known for this one has a whole lot of it and a lot of power to make sure everybody smells it on you again that's maison alhambra this is baruch rouge 540. definitely my favorite montal fragrance bar none some of you that are watching this video and hear me say that you know which fragrance it is because montal honey oud hands down my favorite from the house this one man so a lot of cinnamon a lot of sweetness honey sweetness with a hefty dose of the oud that they like to use a little funky not the most natural oud smell and not the most synthetic oud smell either 
but man, is this magnificent. You kind of get all of the notes mixed into one. There's not a real, a lot of layers to peel back here. It doesn't nuance a whole lot on my skin. Kind of the top is pretty similar to the bottom. Picture vanilla shaved on top. I've said this before. Picture a bunch of oud chips, glaze them in honey, sprinkle cinnamon on them, and then kind of just shave some vanilla over the top. Pretty much what you're going to get here. It's a little powdery. It's sweet. It's thick and a little sticky without being overtly sweet to where it's just sickeningly sweet to where some people it's just off-putting because they don't like too sweet, which this still might be too sweet for some. But the oud and the cinnamon really balance this sweetness out because there's a lot of it here with the honey and the vanilla. But man, they did a fantastic job. Pierre Montal did his thing with this fragrance. This is my favorite from the house. This is another one, Four Sprays Max. The Siage is immense. You want attention. You want a unique scent profile that will garner some attention from A, it's intrigue when they smell it because they probably have never smelled anything like it. And B, they're going to smell it because it's so damn strong. You might want to check this one out. It's Montal Honey Oud. Last but absolutely most certainly not least is the most difficult fragrance to find in this video but it deserves to be here i'll never forget it's going to be tied to my scent memory with this fragrance forever the first time i smelled it on justin i smelled it all day long kept complimenting him well into the 14 15 hour mark of our day virtus vanilla oud and it performs like that on my skin as well magical spicy sweet and a little funky woody there's a funkiness to this oud with Vertus Vanilla Oud. This stuff is so good. This is one of the best fragrances I have ever smelled. The performance is bonkers. It'll sneak up on you. you you'll go nose blind to it and not realize just how powerful it is. That's what happened to Justin. He'd walk by me and I'd be like, good God, you still smell amazing. And we're 12, 13, 14, even into the 15 hour mark when we were doing content early morning, late that night. It's like two in the morning. And he had sprayed it on like nine in the morning and it smelled like he had just sprayed it. His sillage was so strong. This is one of the five best fragrances I've ever smelled. So I hate to, I don't hate to be passionate about this one, but I hate that my passion may excite some and it's not easy to find. So that's what I hate about it. It's not easy to get a decan. It's not readily available in any places that I've looked as of late. But man, when this one comes back in stock and you can get decants from Decant X and Max Aroma, all the different places that'll decant this one, it's totally worth getting your nose on. This experience is magnificent and magical. I'm not guaranteeing you're gonna feel the way about this fragrance that I feel, but man, this is so good. This is a masterpiece. I can't wait to explore more from the house because Vanilla Oud from Vertus is so good. But the main reason we're here is from just ridiculous performing sillage, right? Well, this one has plenty to boot. This is another one. Four Sprays is kind of me overdoing it just because I want to bask in the sillage and just enjoy it for hours and hours. Even though eventually I'll go nose blind to it, it'll come back to me later on. This stuff is so good, guys. When you get the opportunity to get your nose on this one, get your nose on it. If you like this more funky side of oud, not real challenging, but not super mass appealing with this delectable vanilla. There's a nice spice to this. There's a muskiness that offers this dark animalistic tone to it. It's actually quite the complex fragrance. There's a lot of nuance here, but one thing that never goes away is the oud, the vanilla, and the warm spice. It hangs out the entire time. Again, that's Vertus Vanilla Oud. Well, that's the 10 that I have for you today that have ridiculous sillage coming off of my skin. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Wouldn't this video have you tried? Do you own any of these? Have you tested or sampled them? Do you maybe want to get your nose on them? Have you been intrigued by some of the things you heard about some of these fragrances in this, this particular video? I'd love to hear what you guys think, so make sure to sound off down below. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these 10 and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.